How's it going, guys? This is Bat Property Solutions. I'm Michael Abata. I'm Hani Barhan. I'm Benyam Sagai. Welcome to another video in the comfort of our homes. Um, we hope you guys are doing great. We hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, today, we wanted to actually talk to you about how we've had to kind of adjust the way we operate and the way we do business uh, during this time because uh, while we are stuck at home and while we are not in the office um, we still are trying to keep things going and keep things moving and uh, this situation has actually been a forced push for many of us to find creative ways in order to uh, keep you know growing our business and growing ourselves in uh, you know during this time so hopefully that's been going well for you and we're going to just share a couple of the ways that we have adjusted in order to stay ahead of the game yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's all about you know, always adjusting, always growing to the um, circumstances that, are, uh, that, that you're faced with. Um, in, my, in my case, uh, as a real estate agent, um, in the beginning, it was figuring out how to continue showing homes to clients um, and, and uh, you know, so buyers and sellers. Um, one instance, uh, I guess it was last week. Um, this particular case, I had a client who lives in New York, in Queens, New York. Uh, I'm in New Jersey, um, and they're looking to move to New Jersey. So obviously there are a lot of people who are not comfortable um, going to other people's homes with, you know, with other people there, or even sellers not, not comfortable with showing their home, um, having you know, strangers come, come into their house, and which is completely understandable. So um, in this case, you know, I, I would go to the property, of course, you know, with my mask, gloves, uh, and all that, and um, and and do a Zoom call. So virtually showing them the property. You know, I would I would call them. They can view the property from the comfort of their home, and I'll give them a tour of their property. Um, and um, it worked out very well. And and I've been doing that um, continuously now. Uh, where I actually have one buyer who is really interested just by looking at the property virtually, um, who's looking to place an offer. So that's one way where we had to um, uh, adjust the way we do things um, and still ser serve our clients. Yeah. So, yeah. So prior to this whole COVID thing happening, uh, we had already been in contract to um, purchase a nine unit portfolio up in uh, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Um, and as we were, you know, we'd done inspections, we had done all that thing, we were getting ready to close. Uh, and before we know it, the shutdown happens everywhere. Um, and at that point, we didn't know what would happen. Uh, we accept, expected delays to happen, uh, but, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and that's where, you know, surrounding your team, yourselves with a good team, people knowledgeable or people in the know-how of, you know, what's going on in the know is a, is a very good thing because that way you don't you know stress yourself about what you don't know uh, so one of the things I was kind of worried about was you know I knew that prior to this you know whenever you close in Massachusetts uh, on a home one of the things you you're expected to get is what is called the smoke cert which is a certificate uh, from the fire department stating that a home is habitable it's um, equipped with you know proper smoke uh, uh, smoke uh, detectors and CO2 detectors and this is done for safety reasons right and I was like okay if the shutdown happens if inspections can't happen that means closing can't happen but luckily my lawyer informed me that actually there was a law that was passed as part of this emergency because so that closings could continue and which was you could do this after closing so which was a good news um, and so that you know that was one hurdle that kind of fixed itself um, and then after that, you know, once we're ready to get to the closing table, how do we do closings? Uh, this was a commercial loan. We had to sign papers uh, and I didn't feel comfortable traveling into, you know, uh, you know, an office that's not my home. And I just didn't feel right doing that. Uh, and luckily, again, there were orders passed to allow, you know, notarizations to happen virtually and closings to happen virtually. So the cool thing about what we did here was we were able to do a virtual closing via Zoom. Uh, I was in my living room and then the lawyer was in his, I guess, his office. 
And that way we just interacted. He sent me the paperwork that I designed via FedEx. I signed that. He notarized it virtually and we got to closing. Uh, and we got the no those nine units. And then the next step after that is obviously we have tenants that we brought on, new tenants that we inherited was part of these properties. And uh, you know, typically we like to meet our tenants, our residents, and introduce ourselves, but we couldn't do that in this case. So you, you didn't shake hands with your any. with your tenants? Huh? You didn't shake hands with your tenants? <laughs> you no, know, we did hugs, virtual hugs. <laughs> virtual hugs. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're not able to actually we haven't met any of them. Um, you know, uh, I'd seen one or two during inspections, but apart from that, I don't even know who they are. Like, I don't know, you know, what they look like. I wouldn't be able to like, recognize them on the streets, but we still did this virtually. Uh, you know, we sent them letters, obviously welcome letters, but then, uh, for those that were, um, that are able to do email and tech, we, we did uh, calls virtually as well. Um, and, you know, we set them up on our property management software virtually. Um, and you know, things worked out well, everybody, you know, liked the new systems that we brought on, um, the people that were comfortable doing the old way of, you know, using checks, we set them up so that they go right to the bank. You know, we don't have to interact really until this COVID thing is over and we're able to int formally introduce ourselves, you know, in person and we could do that at a later time. Uh, so for now, I mean, things progressed, you know, it didn't really hold us back. We just asked questions and we asked how. Um, you know, we didn't say we can't, we just said, how can we do this? And okay, we were able yeah. to figure things out. And what's even great about that is the tenants were really pleased with the new onboarding system that they were set up on because before this, it just was a mess with the previous owner. And now we've, uh, we've cleared that all up and, uh, it's, 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 we're testing we're, we're working on the project management side as well we're, we're learning this system as well and it's, it's gone really great for us um, and it just goes to show that sometimes when you know when life is normal um, we have a million things to do and some things get put to the side because we just don't have time to do them maybe it's um, streamline your project management system maybe it's uh, work on uh, your marketing maybe it's uh, learn learn about a different part of your business that needs attention but you just don't have time for it and we've been given a little bit of um, of a break from the normal in order to actually focus on these parts of our business so if you are unable to operate your business in a normal fashion there are many parts of the business that still need to be developed and need mm -hmm. to be worked on um, so these are this is the time because when we go back to regular time, all of those things that made you busy are going to come back and we're going to forget to work on these other important aspects like developing a brand, um, uh, researching software, uh, building on a team that can actually close virtually and, and growing your, your, your sphere of influence, you know? So we hope that you guys are taking the time to, um, I mean, take a step back and just enjoy the time off some, uh, you know, a little bit of break from, from the norm, but also using that time to, to work on your business in creative ways uh, so that situations like this don't catch us off guard in the future. Um, so these were just a few of the things that we had to kind of shift and we're going to continue to continue to, to kind of, um, you know, m maneuver our way around this because every day is a new day for us. Right. Um, and we're all learning how to, how to kind of, um, operate in this environment. So there is no answer. There is no answer to this and we're just trying to do the best we can. And if you guys have, have yeah. yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you know, feel free to reach out to us, uh, check out uh, our other videos. If you, if you want to look at the other stuff that we've watched, um, but we hope you guys are doing good. We hope you're staying safe and we'll continue to keep you guys up to date on how we're finding great ways to keep afloat and, uh, and keep on uh, working through this uh, keep on pushing. yeah yeah and yeah so just to close it off you know deals are happening if you ever thought of uh, if you have if you put your um, goal of purchasing a home on hold because of what's going on uh, you know deals are happening buyers. there are buyers there are sellers you know uh, it's, it's all possible um, like Mikey said you know if you guys have questions do feel free to reach out to us but in the meantime, please make sure you like, subscribe our page. We really appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe.
Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.